Hey everybody, Josh here from Android Authority and I just wanted to show you all one of my new favorite uh, notification apps. It's kind of like a task manager but it doesn't tap into Google Tasks. It's called Notif. You'll see it right here in the bottom right hand of my app drawer. And what Notif lets you do is it lets you create custom notifications for your pull down bar if you're running a Jelly Bean device. Uh, simply open up Notif and you'll see that it's designed in a beautiful hollow format using all of the Android design guidelines. Uh, there's a settings menu right here that lets you uh, pick just a couple of things. You can close the app after creating a notification, tell you what priority or set what priority the notification should be in, and choose the theme. I'm currently running the dark theme right now. There's also a light theme that is pretty much the inverse of this. It uses a lot of whites, grays, silvers, and blues. Uh, you'll notice right here that it's mostly, <coughs> excuse me, uh, dark grays, uh, the occasional hollow blue color, and then this orange that he uses in his logo. Hopping right into how the app actually functions, you can create four kinds of notifications, a default one, a big text one, a big picture one, and a list. Now all of these uh, have some fairly standard options in them. You can choose what icon you'd like them to be. And you'll see that there's only, what, 20 icons right here. Uh, you can also make them an ongoing notification if you would like. Uh, for every notification you want to create, you simply fill out the text, title, content. If there's a big content box, you fill it out, you hit the plus button. Uh, for big text, you can do a title, an expanded title, and then content. For big picture, title, expanded title, content, and then you can either take a photo or get a photo from your gallery. Right now, there is a persistent bug that if you choose uh, to take a photo from within Notif, it won't be high quality. So I would suggest uh, getting a photo from your gallery that you've taken outside of Notif. My personal favorite is a list where you can have a title and then a series of list items, uh, list summary and reduced content. Now the reason I'm not making these right now is because I've already made four of them, one of each, uh, just for time's sake so I can show you guys real quick how it works. So starting at the bottom, you'll see this is the default notification. Hello, this is the simplest notification. It doesn't expand, it simply has a title and then one single line of text, something pretty short. Uh, the one that's titled Good Morning Android Authority, that's our big text one right there. So you notice that the title right now is Good Morning Android Authority. This is an example of a big text notification. Just like the new swiping things, if you swipe down on it, you can expand it. The title changes to the subtitle that you set, which is a smiley face in this case. And I wrote, this is an example of a big text notification. You can type more than one line of text, so if you need to write a dissertation for yourself, you're in luck. Seriously though, brevity is a virtue. The big picture one uh, acts just like a picture if you've taken it using the camera app. Um, it shows you a small, I guess, uh, preview of the picture you've taken. And I said, this is a picture. Now, the cool thing about big picture notifications is that they, too, expand. And uh, you can do approximately one live text. I said a picture's worth a 1,000 words, so there's nothing that needs to be said. But it shows you the picture in a large format. This is a camera messenger bag that I really, really like. And then the last one is a list, um, and I just titled it Demo List, and I said take critical video, take note of video, and write app reviews. Um, and otherwise, that's it. I made all of them persistent notifications, so you can't swipe them away. You'll notice that they just kind of jelly back, like if you've missed a call. And if you want to clear persistent notifications, you simply hit these two uh, flag icons right here. Are you sure you want to clear your notifications, delete them, and you'll notice... <gasps> that the only thing I have now is my Google Now reminder telling me that the Cowboys are playing today. Uh, there is an option to go pro and going pro opens up all sorts of different things like over 200 icon icons that you can pick and things like that and it looks like it costs a mere 99 cents. However, if you're pretty low maintenance like myself, uh, Notif is free by default so if you're looking for a great notification modifier app, I would recommend Notif. It's in the Google Play Store and you can get it for free.